Hey guys, Kyle here, and today I'm going to show you this little simple command block trick that I just recently learned since I am not a command block person, um, but it is a, basically a trick to make this behave how you would expect it to. So if I go ahead and give myself a normal chain command block and I place a command block just like this and you give it the configuration of a circle uh, or a square that Ouroboros is itself, um, if I do say hi here, and I click it, you will say it just says hi once because this doesn't work with command blocks. But there's a little trick of MBT that you can do that will allow it to actually work how you would think so in the sense that this goes infinitely until it reaches the command block chain limit, which by default I have set to 65536, which is the game default. You can always modify it if you need to. But essentially what this allows you to do is a very uh, scrappy version of ray casting. So I can summon an armor stand named with a tag of test I can go to the armor stand and teleport it forward a very small amount using the carrot system and uh, then do nothing, do nothing, do nothing and do it again. And so if I click this, it will go, <laughs> it will teleport forward very quickly. And so you can do kind of like a fake ray cast inside the game with no data packs. I don't know who would find this useful. And if somebody does find this useful, I would highly recommend you just use data packs anyway, because they're a lot easier to control. <laughs> but yeah, we can we can we can raycast with command blocks, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Uh, it's it's a TP raycast, so it doesn't use recursion. Now, how this actually works, it's pretty simple. So you're going to place a chain command block like normal, then run data get block tab complete to get the block that you're looking at. And you're going to see all this MBT, all this fancy stuff. So you have condition mets, auto powered. And the one that we're interested in is update last execution. And so now we're going to use, instead of data get, we're going to use data modify. So we're just going to replace the word with get with modify. And we are going to modify the update last execution set value zero B. And so now that I've done that, I can go ahead and middle click on this command block to get a MBT version. And now I can place all these in a circle and go ahead and say hi here and press the button. And this does work with repeating command blocks, but by God, your lag is going to go insane because yeah, it will actually do this. Now there's probably some cool little, uh, further advancements you can make with this that I'm sure that some of you command block fanatics may try. But what you can do is you can make one of these command blocks actually set the MBT of the block to update execution 1B, which will actually stop the loop. So if you want to stop the loop, you can manually do that using a data modify based on some conditions. And that should cut off things so that it doesn't lag to the extreme uh, or make that raycast go infinite. And so that's kind of where my thoughts are towards future things you can work on with it if you want to but personally i will still use recursion and data packs always but anyways if you guys thought this trick was kind of cool or you didn't know about it let me know in the comments or like the video anyways i will see you next time peace